Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make Pyrocore bracelets. As you can see I have different varieties and colors. And you can also see that um, on one side it's different than the other. So it's up to you which way you want to put it on. So what you'll need is Pyrocore rope which I found this at Walmart in the sewing section. Um, hot glue or permanent glue. Measuring tape, which you'll need the measuring tape to measure your wrist size and the rope. So you, it's up to you which one you want to use. You'll need scissors, the clips, which I found a kit with all this stuff at, um, at Hobby Lobby which has different types of ropes um, has these little clips but are not like this and it has fabric glue so you'll also need a lighter and make sure you have a parent to help you so, let's get started. I went on and measured my wrist size with the big one because my wrist is about 7 inches. So, if your wrist is 7 inches, then your, um, your whole rope is going to be 7 feet. Just like 5 inches, 5 feet. Okay. So, these are two separate ropes, but put together, they are 7 feet. So, with my hot glue, I am going to glue these two parts together, just like I did right here for this one. Let this cool down a little bit. So this has cooled down and it's not hot anymore. So I'm going to get my clip and with the clip I used one that would make the two other colors stand out. So get your clip and on the side where it doesn't have the, the teeth, stick the two ends from the top. So this is the part where it curves like that. So from this part, you stick the two ends in and you pull until there is a small loop like this one and then you just make a knot so stick your uh, pointing finger and your thumb in the loop and then you grab the two strings and you just pull them out and then you pull this one get the ends again and pass them through the bottom. So that it makes this type, this kind of loop. So, measure your wrist and then make it bigger make it like one or two inches bigger because when you're going to be doing all this it's going to take up a lot a lot of space so get your wrists measured and it's always better that it's bigger than when it's smaller so now that you got 
your measure, unclip this, and make these two. Okay, so here you have the top, how it's going to go up. So put each rope on their side. So you are going to start. Now, this is the part where you have to really pay attention how you put them. So get your right rope and do this kind of loop on top so like this then hold it down with your finger and then with the left rope you make it go under and then into this loop and then make sure that this stays up where you wanted it to and then with one then you just pull like you're making a knot okay so now always have the same if you're doing two different colors always have always do with the same color so you, we did with the right and um, blue now we're gonna do with the left so it's always right left right left so again get your orange or the right side and pass it through the bottom and into the loop from the top and pull up okay and make a knot so you just keep doing this for the rest of the bracelet make sure you do it tight because you don't want it to be all loopy and then yeah keep going so make a loop pass it on top and through the bottom and pull up okay so <clears throat> I finished my bracelet and to close it now you might want a parent to help you or a parent supervision because you're going to be using a lighter. So, with your scissors, cut barely to where, to the end. So just cut the whole thing, leaving barely any rope. So, with the lighter, light it, and then Put the flame on the rope so it will shrink and it will stick, kind of like hot glue. So let it cool down and do the same thing for the other one. Light it. Put the flame on it and it'll get warm and stick down okay so let it cool down before touching it or putting it on Okay, so give this a little bit of room.
so that your wrist will fit. And try it on. This is beautiful. It fits perfectly. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you try it because it is really fun and, and cute to make. So in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bat since Halloween is almost here. So hope you enjoy this video and I hope you'll, you'll enjoy this video. Bye!